Alright, so in the most recent patch of Super Auto Pets, they buffed the spider. Not really something that I thought needed to be buffed, but it's pretty fun to experiment with. Now at level 2, the spider spawns a 4-4, and at level 3, it spawns a 6-6. Six, six. So this means that pilling the spider is even better. Now, I don't think practically pilling a level 3 spider is worth it whatsoever. Pilling a level 2 spider, it can be. In fact, I think that's a great strategy to go for the level 2 spider pills, but it does require great RNG. But if you can get that, it's great, um, especially in like custom packs when everything is so good. You can really set up for it. This was actually my second run that I got the level 3 spider pill because the first one I got a level 3 owl and I did not think that was very interesting so I decided to try something different. Yeah, uh, I decided not to take puppy. Puppy's one of those things that got nerfed as well. Used to be plus 2 plus 2, now it's only plus 2 plus 1. The reason that it's actually in this pack is just because I stacked the deck with a bunch of cool level 3 abilities. So if I happen to get like a level 3 spider pill and get a puppy out of it, that would be pretty sweet because it gets plus six plus three for two gold. Um, unfortunately, getting level three spider pill is very inconsistent because it turns out it requires insane RNG and I just had to keep doing runs. Not gonna lie, I abandoned a lot of runs where I just did not get the spider early on. And you can see I'm just rolling for spiders on turn three and four here, doing nothing else. And there we go, not bad. There's a level two spider on turn five. But uh, eventually the level 3 spider pill, not worth it whatsoever because like you're gonna, if you're, it's turn 9, you're looking for tier 5, you don't care about like a level 3, tier 3 too much. So uh, gotta make sure I get it as soon as possible. The luckier the better. There's another spider. Get the tier up into a crow so that'll help achieve this level uh, 3 spider. And then go ahead and freeze that. Hope for one more spider here to fill out the team. Don't get it, so just gonna go ahead and buy the chocolates. Just need one more spider for this turn. Frill Dragon also got a nerf, so instead of a 1-2, it's now a 1-1, which means that it actually dies to Mosquito Snipes. Because Mosquitoes typically have two attack, so it'll go before the Frill Dragon, can easily snipe it if you don't have uh, extra health. So there's a level 3 spider. Also get two tier 4s, and... Ooh, interesting. Okay, actually get a Lobster and a Deer. So that's going to be great tempo to hopefully not go down to lethal this turn. And also the lobster will buff whatever the spider spawn is. So instead of a 6-6, six, six, it's going to be an 8-8 eight, eight, and it's going to be a level 3, which is pretty cool. Looks like mosquito snipes there, but the deer took care of their team. Love to see that. Uh, the problem is now it is turn 7 and it's getting kind of late. This is like the last turn I would really consider actually trying to do this spider pill. There's another lobster. I still have to find this pill. Really hoping to find one any second now, please. The odds are lower the uh, farther you get in the game, of course, but at the last second, managed to get it. And it's a dolphin, pretty cool. Level three dolphin, dolphin's a tier three now. Only deals three damage, but when you level it up, its ability triggers multiple times. So really gonna deal nine damage to the lowest health enemy. And if it happens to kill it, then I'll hit something else as well. So killed the pug there, wasn't particularly helpful, <laughs> I do lose this round. Um, unfortunately, pineapple's not in the pack. I guess I overlooked that, um, that would have been nice to get a pineapple. Then it would deal 15 damage, that's a pretty significant increase there. And then just gonna fill out the rest of the squads here. Uh, I am on lethal, but I have level 2 lobster, lobster did get nerfed, I think very warranted. Along with can, lobster can was an absurd strat, it was so insanely good for being able to pivot. Of course, it does require, like, pivoting is good for the game, I would imagine. You do want to actually be able to have to buy the new units that are appearing in the shop, but it was just a little bit too good, because if you really high roll like Lobster can, you get so far ahead of everyone else. Um, Penguin also got nerfed, only buffs two things now. Not a very good scaler. It's pretty much equivalent to, like, a level 2 giraffe, but I do think it makes sense as far as a stat-wise. Did I say this in the last video? I don't actually remember if I did. But if you imagine, like, Monkey is a tier 5 and it gives 5 stats. It gives plus 2, plus 3. Penguin was a tier 4 and it gave 6 stats, which doesn't really make sense. Yeah, you also had to get, like, 3 level 2s, but it wasn't too impossible to achieve that. So having a tier 4 that skilled faster than a tier 5 didn't make a ton of sense. Um, but now Penguin feels just really weak. Um, probably not going to take it. Also, they still have Dragonfly, which still can give more stats than Monkey. And you could also argue that Monkey gives it to one unit, which is better than spreading it out, because uh, you usually want to sell some stuff. 
Uh, but you do have to put whatever unit in front if, when you have the monkey. So going all in on this dolphin. Been playing on lethal this whole time. Got to remember to freeze things for this moose. And decide, all right, I'll set her for tier threes. But I probably shouldn't have. I think I could have gotten tier four, plus four, plus four there. So maybe a bit too safe. But I've been screwed over by the moose many times where I just get plus one, plus one. And it's always so sad. Plus three, plus three, and then plus two, plus three. Moose gives the most stats out of pretty much anything. You can get plus six, plus six at level one, which is pretty crazy. The level three dolphin there did some great work. Uh, let's see, I think I checked the pack for pineapple here and realized that it wasn't in it. So I was like, oh, that's why it's not appearing. Um, and there's a turkey. So I can kind of go full pivoting here and go with lobster and turkey. And I decide, you know what, let's take a deer, why not? It's gonna instantly become a 7-7, seven, seven, or 8-8, eight, eight, can't do math. And it's gonna spawn an 8-8 eight, eight bus. I suppose that's not too bad. And then I decide to take melon, start freezing things, go for level two moose next turn. And then there's plus four, plus four, not too bad. Next turn, I'll have three tier sixes. Plus when you level something up, you get a free tier six that you can freeze, which is always helpful. Uh, lets you get those all tier six shops frozen pretty nicely. And then I can pivot into the one of the tier sixes at the end by selling lobster. It looks pretty close here, but do manage to win that round. Survive the dolphin snipe. So like dolphin's pretty weak. Probably don't want to keep it too late, but its ability is better than nothing for sure. So if you do want to keep something until late game, um, it's not a bad option. Certainly things that could be better. Uh, all right, decide to take a gorilla. Again, getting plus seven, plus seven here. And then the moose is also gonna buff by giving it plus five, plus five. So some pretty rapid scaling. Um, this is even without cans. I don't think I bought a single can this run. At plus one, plus one, you can easily just skip cans altogether. They're not too impressive, but I'm glad they got nerfed. Ran into a sloth team, also double vulture. You can see the little one, oh, like one half uh, symbol that appears above the vultures now because two things have to faint before its ability actually shoots and it deals double damage. But that means like giving it a pineapple still is kind of worse because like a pineapple immediately doubled its damage, but that's no longer the case. And there's a melon looking pretty good. I could sell something, sell lobster by like leopard. That might've been worth it there. Uh, just get a free snipe, get a 13-7 out there, and this looks like a pretty strong team, but the coconut comes in clutch there, able to get the 10 wins with the level 3 dolphin. Didn't even realize I was on 9 wins, but yeah, that's the run. Level 3 spider pill, quite the gamble, pretty fun. Thanks for watching, see ya.